guys, uh, thank you so much of uh, how well received the um, uh, the vape shopping uh, pilot episode is with you guys. Okay, I read the comments and um, I'm I'm really surprised how well received it was. Um, uh, I will admit. Part of me was, you know, slightly angry when I first made it because I had a lot of thoughts on my mind and uh, uh, I just wanted to try something new and uh, I'm, I'm really happy how uh, you guys reacted to it, okay? Um, now, I'm sure you, by now you guys can feel that, um, you know, I really care about each and every one of you guys, all of my subscribers, you know what I mean? Uh, I communicate with you guys, I <clears throat> do, you know, uh, I try to answer your questions as best as I can, and if it deserves a big answer, then I'll do a whole video on it. Um, <clears throat> another thing over here is that um, I wanted to uh, mention that coil building, I decided to make it a 101 because I realized that uh, there m there's more that needs to go into it as far as, um, you know, uh, different sizes of canthals and how many wraps and the way it reacts and, uh, you, you know, it, it just needs another advanced explanation after the first one. So it, it definitely needs a 102 class. So in May, uh, luxury vaping, cloud chasing, and quilt building will all have 102 classes, okay? Um, <clears throat> as far as um, uh, one thing that I realized that I've been neglecting is uh, over here, um, Donald uh, said, uh, as for me, I am a flavor hunter. So you guys out there who are into like cloud chasing and into this and into that or whatever, I've realized that I've left out a special category of people who are sp particularly into flavor. And for the rest of you, you know, aficionados, enthusiasts out there who are into everything, so, you know, this is good for everyone, right? Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm not going to go into the big screen on this one because I'm just going to go over this real quick, okay? Um, why am I releasing uh, the next episode of Vape Shopping? Because I have um, some new stuff that I absolutely need to share with you guys right fucking now, okay? It, it really can't wait. And, you know, my conscience tells me if I don't share it with you now, then, like, you know, <clears throat> the moment will have passed. So uh, let's duck down real quick, okay? <clears throat> Check this out, all these uh, tiny little uh, drip tips that I have over here, okay? Um, I'm not trying to show off my collection or anything like that. Uh, you'll see that it is sorted very strangely. What is it sorted by? It's sorted by most flavor to least flavor, okay? Um, I've noticed that these two drip tips, my plastic shitty ones, okay? This one is from a BCC Mini, and this one is from a BCC Mega, okay? These two are my, my most flavorful. Initially, okay, I thought these two drip tips was garbage when I first started vaping because I didn't like the way it felt. See, when people start off as uh, vaping, okay, they go from smokers to smoke mimicking, and then you actually become a vapor. You're not a vapor right away just because you start vaping. You're using vapor to mimic smoke first. Okay, so when I first had these things, I mean, you know, you're still used to like analog cigarette butts in your mouth, right? So it's like these build tips is like, what the fuck is this thing? So I, I absolutely thought they were trash, but I kept it because I'm a pack rat. So uh, I'm glad I kept it because I stick them on my Genesis these days. And uh, I've noticed that the flavor is uh, has, has increased much more than your standard drip tips that look like this. This one is just off of like a Pro Tank 2 or something. But most of you guys probably have drip tips that look like this or drip tips that look like this, right? Well, let me tell you something. The ones in, their, in the center are roughly all the same and they're just absolute trash, okay? The ones that are far, far away over here are just like my wide board drip tips. And this is basically just for cloud chasing because it allows for that maximum airflow. So other than this, Clearly, this one is also going to produce a lot of flavor, right? And this one produces a lot of flavor. Why? Because, you know, it's a small bore at the top, okay? So what is the point of me talking about all this? Okay, well, I absolutely needed to get this uh, out of the way, and it's going to involve shopping as well, okay? So uh, shockingly enough, we are not going to go to... Uh, we're actually not going to go to um, uh, uh, Vastec this time, okay? Instead, we're just going to um, KFUN Drip Tip, okay? Just going to look up this one real quick. Sorry, I 
type this one wrong, okay? So we go over here and then we go to uh, images real quick, right? You, we will find the KFUN drip tip standalone uh, by itself right here and some other places, okay? Um, if you can find this, right, help each other out because I've noticed that drip tips is the, is what really controls the flavor, is what really is doing it for everything. Okay, for instance, um, have you noticed that like the K-Fun is hands down what everybody's saying, that is the flavor machine. That is exactly what the flavor machine is. Okay, um, but how many of you out there actually use your K-Fun without the original drip tip that it comes with? Okay, you went ahead and put the adapter so that like you could put in your own drip tip and you're not actually using this drip tip. Because this is the drip tip that's really making all the difference. If you don't believe me, just go ahead and like you know switch it around and around and around. Now the thing is that like why is it in an episode of shopping with Peg instead of like one of my lessons or uh, whatnot? Because um, this thing is about flavor, and flavor is going to be subjective it, as opposed to all the other times where like I had charts and I had numbers. You know, two plus two equals four. It's it's absolute. Like it's 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 not arguable. But while flavor and things like that is a little bit more on the subjective side, so I absolutely have to put it here instead of, you know, instead of one of my lessons. Um, Got to point out something else. P. Pissardo, real quick, before we get into it, all right? Little uh, praise on P. Pissardo. You should all definitely watch P. Pissardo. Okay, um, I know some of you are going to be like, duh, yeah, I know, I already subscribed to him, I watch this guy all the time, I don't need you to tell me, right? However, I bet you my reason for why you should watch P. Pissardo is definitely different than your reason of why you watch him, okay? See, P. Pissardo is that guy who uh, really, really goes into it with the items, okay? He's the guy who's like, you know, putting it through a gauntlet. Okay, he has all sorts of different kind of like testing devices, not only to just like get numbers of like different like, you know, variable voltages and wattages and how it fires on various types of atomizers, uh, atomizer resistances, excuse me. <clears throat> but also he uh, figures out a lot of the, uh, the bugs and quirks to a lot of stuff so that like, you know, he will also... Uh, convey this back to the large manufacturer and you'd be like, you know, uh, Kanger, something's wrong over here, Inokin, something's wrong over here, you know what I mean? So that when Kanger and Inokin and other large companies, when they release version 2, version 3, it is corrected thanks to P. Bizarro. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with Evolve, same thing with whatever. He talks to, you know, all the people who matter, who are behind all of these products and stuff like that, and then, you know, uh, he gets the scoop on things. So you would find out shit that you would never find out through like any other review, while other reviewers are just more like unboxings and, um, you, you know, you really didn't learn anything other than like what you could have just read on an online uh, manual yourself. All you really watch that, that the videos for it is just basically the video portion of it. So that like instead of looking at some of the pictures online, you get to see it in video um, so that you get to see like, you know, the, the 360 degree angle of, of it, right? Uh, I don't like the other reviews because they they go through it too quickly, people. They go through it way too fast. They don't really play around with it or whatever because they need to put it up right away. They got to be the first one to put it up right away. You know, I even see like them commenting to each other like, aha, you beat me to it. I was going to put, you know, it, it should have, <laughs> reviews, that's what it shouldn't be about. It shouldn't be like a race between like all the reviewers to put up, the, to see who put up the, the, the item first. Um, I'm going to do a vlog about that next time, so we won't get too much into it. But yeah, definitely, Phil is a man, because thanks to Phil, version 2, version 3 gets better. So it's like, you know, thanks to him, fucking, you know, iPhone 3, iPhone 3S, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, they get better because of him. All right, but uh, this particular episode is going to be about, like, the Aero Tank, the Mini, and the Mega, right? So, um... Pardon the sound real quick, I'll just mute, uh, I'll just try to mute that real quick. <clears throat> and um, we will go to somewhere over here where he's uh, using the device, okay? See what's go what's up over here? The drip tip that he's using, okay, on the uh, new Aerotank Mega, 
okay, is the exact same shape as the drip tip on the Kefa. So, what the fuck is going on, guys? What the fuck? Uh, why are they doing this? Because somebody's fucking paying attention, that's why. Um, Kanger clearly, you know, sees all the fuss about the K-Fun, decided to buy a K-Fun, and then try it out themselves, and then said to each other, you know, like, well, what can we do to make our tanks perform closer, like, you know, the K fun is because if we don't do this, then people are going to like, you know, skip the fill and go tanks and everybody's going to go into rebuildables, right? So, um, you know, as we get better, as we get better, it's all about cracking the code, right? So, I personally think right now, right, and I want to share this information with you guys before the time has passed, you know what I mean? So, as opposed to, like, you know, all those other people who, like, you know, want to put up that, that video ASAP of, like, the new item, be like, hey, I got the S video, I got to put it up right away. No, uh, I want to share this information with you as quickly as possible, which is, I think that drip tips is the answer to flavor, okay? Um, sadly, you will not get... Um, you know, more vapor, you won't get the big clouds or whatever, but you gotta admit, a K-Fun can produce a very, very satisfying vape. Whether you're using a 30-gauge Canthal with a kick or a 28-gauge Canthal, or if you dare and able to make a fit, 26-gauge Canthal inside of a K-Fun, okay? It's possible, you just gotta, you know, be able to tinker, that's all. Okay, it'll require some finagling. Or you could go ahead and use like, you know, ribbon Canthal if, uh, if if, if uh, your screws aren't able to support that. Okay, so, yeah, people, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The drip tip seems to make the biggest difference. So, what happened was that, like, I decided to go and do, like, you know, a quick uh, search of, like, drip tip comparisons. And um, everybody's doing all sorts of different kinds of comparisons, not exactly what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Uh, what is it made of? How well does it fit on the 510 connection? Uh, you, you know what I mean? Different sizes, the, how the comfort is. I like these colors. I like those colors. I don't think that's the way we should be shopping for stuff right now. Okay, and I think we need to stop, go ahead into our boxes of drip tip collections and stare down each and every single one of them and then look at the bore of it. Okay, and then we need to give ourselves like a whole blind te uh, taste test challenge. You know what I mean? Go ahead and look through all your drip tips. If all your drip tips are basically the same size, then you need to go out and collect some new drip tips. Okay, um, you know, you got to get larger ones and you got to get smaller ones because you're going to need it for all sorts of reasons. So, as I said before, you don't just watch this show, you watch like all other shows. It's just like the fucking Food Network. You need all sorts of different kind of devices, you know, from Canthals to uh, what. Uh, uh, different kinds of wicks, now different uh, sizes of drip tips, so that like you could achieve different kinds of you know recipes and builds and flavors, and you know your juices will come alive again in different ways. You know what I mean? How cool would that be? I mean, look, there's a reason why I don't do juice reviews because there's so much more information that I need to share with you guys. It's not like I don't have juices; I have a ton of fucking juices. Um, but the point is that like. I find it so much more interesting that like, you know, originally we had like these shitty little vape tanks, right? And then we put the juices in here and then blah, blah, blah. okay, that's how it tastes, right? Then we put them in drippers and you're like, wow, they fucking come alive. But I think now if you went out of your way and got yourself some like smaller uh, bore drip tips like this, like, like this one, like this one, like, you know, if you could get yourself uh, a K-Fun style drip tip to put in your other devices, I think all your juices are going to come alive again, and then things that you passed up in 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 the past, you know, you could pick them up and like try them again, and you know, it's going to do something. So, <clears throat> uh, fast tech, real quick. Yeah, um, last time, uh, I've noticed that a lot of you guys were really interested in my shopping cart. So I will go through my shopping cart in depth one time. Okay, so last time I mentioned the Poldiac style, all right, so we won't do that again. Uh, the Patriot, this one is a little bit tricky, okay, and I'll tell you why it's tricky. Because when you type in Patriot over here, okay, uh, there's a reason why I declined the rest. Number one, the foggy version, right, what the fuck is this thing? I'm not even going to talk about that because it's just so what the fuck, all right. 
this one. What is wrong with it? There's only one fucking hole. What the hell is going on? All right. Uh, the other one over here is the exact same issue, I believe. Right. It's gold, but there's only one hole in the back. It makes no sense whatsoever. Okay. Uh, the other one over here is as well. There's no hole on the side. So it's a single hole, 22 diameter. I don't know. Why bother even making that thing? Uh, as I said before, definitely go on Fast Tech. Not always to buy but definitely check out the discussion on stuff because people will point that out in the discussion areas, you know what I mean? People will just be like, you know, can we get a picture of the fucking air hold location because people need to know what's going on. You'd be surprised at how knowledgeable a lot of these trolls are, you know what I mean? They really know what they're talking about. And everybody who shops over here is staring at, you know, the photos, they're, it, you know, just scrutinizing stuff. And if you read their comments, you know, they probably picked up a lot of stuff that, you know, you probably, like, missed out on. Um, like, for instance, right? Black Patriot. How pretty is this? It's, it's, it's pretty good looking. For, like, if you had a black mod, like a Panzer or whatever, and it didn't have a voltage drop issue, like, yeah, I think, you know, black, uh, a setup would be kind of badass. It would be kind of cool. It would be, like, you know, uh, you know, Cobra, like, you know, from back in the 80s or uh, Sylvester Stallone. It, you know, it's kind of badass. But, what is the issue over here? When you go to the the uh, the discussion, people want to know: Is this thing black on the inside too? Because they're really worried about how this thing is coated. Is it powder coated? Is it anodized? Is it paint? Is it whatever? Because we all know that these dripper decks are going to get really hot, and I don't want to end up, you know, inhaling that nonsense. So people are very careful about. It. Plus, another thing that I find very strange is that this thing is twenty one point seven millimeters. Why is it off by 0.3? I don't know, but that's why I stayed away from it, and I decided to opt to pay more 674 for this one because this one is 22 millimeters, and I know that the holes are on the side. See the logos over here, and the holes are on the side. It's not in the back. See that it's on the side. Okay, so this one's going to have two holes. I already read the discussion and the reviews of this thing. This one's legit. You could buy this one. If you guys want to know the number for this one, 1625001, okay? Um, this one is gold-plated stainless steel, okay? If you accidentally inhale a little bit of gold or whatever, you're going to be fine, okay? You could go to New York, Tavern on the Green, you could order a fucking ice cream, and there's, like, little gold flakes in it, okay? There's little gold flakes at the bottom of a gold schlager, too, and if you ingest a little bit on accident, you're not going to die, all right? So that's why... I I'm okay with this. Anyways, uh, let's go back to my shopping cart. All right, uh, Dome Style, I spoke about that already. Now, here's something that I just want to talk about, okay? It's fucking ugly as hell. It is, okay? It is fucking ugly as hell. I don't care. The reason why I'm getting this one, not only just because it's $1.65, okay? It's because look at the bore of this thing. I am convinced that I think this one's going to produce pretty good flavor. You know, and I think you should, guys should get one too. Uh, it doesn't matter. It comes in, you know, you can get, well, maybe not the 10 pack, but I'm just going to go to the 10 pack just so that like you guys can see like all the pretty colors that it comes in. Okay. See? So, um, you know, it's only $1.65. I think you guys should pick one up and then we should talk about it. And then um, all of us, right? If possible, I think we should all do a search and help each other out, at, you know, fellow vapor to vapor. If you can uh, find uh, flavorful drip tips and just go ahead and um, post it in the comment section over here. OK, I will review the post and I, I will I will approve your post of um, links to different kinds of uh, drip tips that, you know, is going to seem very flavorful. OK, so back to my card over here. Um, after that, we spoke about the uh, stupid allowed drip tip event. Um, I'm going to get a, a Pro Tank dual coil atomizer, okay? Um, I'm going to buy this thing for a sake of a myth bust. If you uh, already have an idea of what it might be, then you, then you already know. Try not to ruin it for anybody. Uh, most of them are all sold out, so I have no choice but to buy a pink one. But the whole point is you know, to do a, a whole thing about the coil. So, uh, whatever, fine, fuck it, I'll buy a pink one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, 
this one's going to be fun. For all of you guys who already have a connection uh, of, uh, for, for the KKKK fun out there, right? Uh, if you use the uh, Nemesis mod like I do, then I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up real quick. $2.36. Who knows? If it works, it works. It's shitty threads. It's shitty threads. Who knows? Uh, let's buy it and find out first. So this will allow the K fun to work as a, uh, a hybrid on top of your Nemesis. So no more airflow connection, blah, blah, whatever. That part gets cut out, and I guess it'll just fit more flush. So let's move on from here. Um, uh, let, me, let me talk about this later on. Oh, okay. So um, EVOD, EVOD last time. Okay. Uh, hey, Peg, why do you have an EVOD in your uh, in, in your shopping cart? You almost caught me. You almost caught me. Good. Um, that that was that was a, that was a good eye. Um, the other I was comparing stuff, so I had the plastic one in here, uh, and I was actually trying to do this, and I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, it's just nifty to have around. Okay, um, a lot of a lot of us has moved past this stuff, but you know, if you ever need like a backup emergency kit or whatever, and you know, I do have a little iTaste VV that could uh, work with ego cone threading. I decided to get this for the hell of it. Um, this one, it's an Evod with a removable drip tip and it's a glass tank see it's a glass tank over here and then I want to see if like you know those dual coils is different kind of coils blah, 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 whatever that come in the uh, aero tank over here see this because uh, this one looks like the exact same coil yet over here it says dual coil so I'm just going to go to toy around with all this stuff and the airflow and whatever, and then I'm going to come back and give you guys the real skinny on everything. You know what I mean? Instead of a review or whatever, I'm going to tell you guys like, yeah, it really is that good, or no, it's all the reviews you saw that was that that's BS. So we'll find out. Um, okay, last thing that we're going to talk about, motherfucking Hannah mod, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to go get a Hannah mod. I still think it's fucking ugly because it's just a box mod, but I really want to see how well uh, China cloned the, uh, the, uh, the DNA20 chip because over here, if you check out the uh, discussion, right, uh, clone chip specs, blah, 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 whatever, um, I'm just going to go ahead and I've been holding back on a lot of things. Um, I don't really see the need to vape up to 30 watts because I already think like, you know, 11, 12 is uh, more than satisfying. But uh, so I will just go ahead and get the 20 a watt and then, you know, I will crank it up to like 18, 19, 20, see what the big deal is. And if I think that like, you know, hey, let's go to like 30 watts and 100 watts is, uh, uh, is, is, is you know, if, if it's really necessary, if it's really like, you know, uh, I'll let you know what I think. You know what I mean? Let's just put it that way. Instead of me just fucking tripping all over my words. I will have already made my purchase before you guys jump on this and beat me to it. Uh, but do keep in mind that this thing says ships in 15 business days. So most likely you got to wait the two weeks and blah, 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 whatever. So, you know, I'm going to put it in the order for this and I will most likely not see it for at least a month. So... Okay, um, yeah, so we covered uh, a little bit about flavor chasing, right, and what I think flavor chasing is. So if possible, you know, guys, uh, let's help each other out. Uh, let's all do a little drip tip shopping and then see what we come up with. I will go ahead and, uh, you, you know, uh, approve all of your comments for different links of drip tips and see what we all come up with. And, you know, uh, hopefully they're cheap and let's go buy them and, and see... Uh, if if it, it it really is what it is, because I mean you know, there's a, there's got to be a reason why Kanger is is uh, gonna go ahead and manufacture a whole bunch of you know uh, knockoff K fun drip tips, right? So I think that's going to be you know the answer to it. Okay, so. Uh, hopefully, you know, again, you've taken something with you uh, on this episode of uh, Vape Shopping with Peg, and uh, I'll see you next time when there's something cool that shows up again, okay? Take care.